sometimes we look at these things, you know, oh, it's like a storm, you know, oh, this is a terrible storm. We, we didn't have electricity for four days, you know, and oh my God, it's catastrophic and everything else and so on. And, and, and so you live that and people have a hard time living through that, but they've lived it, it's finite, it's ended, now we're back to normal. We are not going to be back to normal soon. And on top of that, we don't even know the extent of the threat that we're facing. And so unless communications and sustaining communications to the front lines, to them, uh, you, they're going to feel uh, not only isolated, but they're going to feel overwhelmed. If they become overwhelmed, their efficiency goes down, they become casualties, and then you've got a real, real problem because then you're going to lose horsepower in a, to, to maintain the effort. And so the scale of support for the uh, whole psychological framework of our society has got to be ramped up as we move towards the end of this versus ramped down. It's got to be ramped up in order to handle all the walking wounded that are going to start to feel the impacts. And so add to that, that with the economy being and so on and people losing their job and then all of a sudden there's going to be a bunch of money thrown in probably to rebuild the economy, get it going again. And so there's going to be a lot of pressure on people to produce faster, uh, you know, concepts, faster uh, uh, outputs, faster getting people back to work and so on. So they're going to be under just more pressure. And so not only are you getting more pressure on people, but on top of that, they're still trying to handle what they've been going flat out during the crisis. That's going to take a significant toll. They're going to be doing it with the wounds really becoming apparent. It's like the pain all of a sudden appearing. That during the campaign, you, you knew it was there, but it didn't override the adrenaline. But when it's over, that wound all of a sudden really starts to hurt. And so uh, I hope that uh, what we're doing, uh, and I'm uh, myself engaged in trying to uh, sensitize the, the government uh, and uh, the different authorities and organizations, is that your workload in regards to the psychological impact of this campaign, this war, uh, is going to increase exponentially afterwards. And so you have got to prepare programs on how to inform people that they've got to let it out, that they've got to communicate, that they're not suffering alone, that there are people who have lived that experience or worse that can, in fact, give them solace in, in that it's honorable to be hurting, that it is normal that you have a sense of, 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 of yeah, a certain guilt, but also a sense that uh, you haven't maybe done all you could have uh, and uh, also handle the rage in those, particularly the leadership, who felt maybe betrayed by organizations, institutions that were not ready, that did not heed the call, that did not do everything they could to reduce the frontline troops' dilemmas of trying to save more and more people.